Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number 12, the final war in the season. And it will also be the last war that I have with my current alliance. But we'll be making a video on that. Uh, but as you can see, we are going up against an alliance called Veni Vidi Visi. I'm not sure if I even said that correctly. Uh, but first off, I want you guys to notice something. And we're going to pan out and you'll see that we did a boss rush. And for a change, I wasn't in the initial team. All right. So you can see they all went up the left side. They cleared everything and they cleared the boss. So now those of us who haven't joined already can just get extra points for exploring. Okay. And so I was told to go up the middle. You know, don't do anything else. Just go right up the middle. Uh, so first fight we're going to be taking is Symbiote Supreme. Now, of course, I don't normally take this path. We've got Aggression, Fury, and Strike Back. Not a problem. Also, we don't have to worry about the defense tactic because the boss is who puts that buff out. Uh, I don't know if you guys were aware of that. So when the boss is down, no defense tactic. All right, so I chose Nick Fury because I don't need to fire specials off with Nick Fury. He is a beast. That bleed is crazy. As long as I can bleed my opponent and I do have maxed out deep wounds, uh, I don't really need to fire my specials off. And as you can see, we just took down Symbiote Supreme. No finesse, just raw aggression. That's it. All right. So Symbiote Supreme is down. And uh, next up, uh, let's see who we got next. Uh, we got uh, Quake. And you're going to see a couple of times Quake gets some uh, stacks on me. Uh, but again, not a difficult fight. Uh, now, this is a different node, power alternator, power focus uh, one, but nothing that uh, looks uh, difficult. And again, we don't even have to worry about the defense tactic, but I always look anyway just out of habit. All right, so same strategy as Symbiote Supreme. We parry and just do a five hit combo ending with a light attack and just keep going in. All right, so she didn't get a stack on me there. Um, but I think there was a time. Uh, okay, never mind. She didn't get a stack on me this time. Must have been another uh, Quake fight that I was thinking of. Uh, but that one went perfectly. That one went smoothly. She never uh, got to charge her heavy or anything like that. That's how you want to fight her. All right. So as you can see, I have no energy. Uh, so I came back and I was cleared. So I went ahead and went up here. And last word that I had was, of course, take the middle. So I went ahead and I assumed, since they were just sitting there, both of them, that they were waiting for me to take this fight. So I said, hey, no problem. You know, this is a stress-free uh, time because if I don't get it, we're not trying to get the win anyway. So now's the time to play around and practice. And she is an Avenger. So I'm like, okay, let me get a charge from Cor uh, for Corvus. And I put in a 50% boost. I have like four of them right now expiring. So there's no reason not to. I just forget sometimes, all right? So we start in with a medium, light, medium. Uh, she is quite dangerous, and I'm not used to fighting her, okay? So, look at this. And then she goes unstoppable after a special. That's one of the nodes. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. And that sometimes catches me um, by surprise. And easily, because of her special, I'm already in the corner. And I don't like being in the corner. And she was unstoppable, so I couldn't get her away from me. And I knew that if I waited... She's going to really trap me in that corner. Just look at this. So much, so much. All right. So I'm trying to stay out of the corner. She's unstoppable. Look at that. And then again, catches me and I'm in the corner. Now, I don't have to worry about her shock because Corvus doesn't take damage. But look at this. I'm like, okay, we got to get that special off. All right. And boom, got her down. I'm like, wow, girl is just crazy. She's good. I like her. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to rank her up. Um, but yeah, she is uh, not so easy to fight against if you're not used to her. All right. Now, this next fight, 
I read the node and I did not understand one thing. So I want you guys to read the steady buildup unblockable and the spry together. And you're going to see what that means. Now I'm running suicide. So I already have two debuffs on me in the beginning, right? He just evaded. Now he's unblockable. So I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll just have to wait out. You know, I got hit like that because I was looking at my debuffs, waiting for the bleed to disappear. Um, and when I got knocked down, it was gone, but he's still unblockable. And so I looked up and he hit me with a heavy and I'm like, wait, why is he still unblockable? All right. So the reason he's still unblockable, the way the node reads, when you get three debuffs, they go unblockable. They will not become. Well, how you say that? and not become not unblockable uh they will not get the unblockable removed until you get zero debuffs but since i'm running suicides i will never have zero debuffs so he will never become blockable again once i hit three now if i could have waited it out and my bleed disappears i only had the poison then when he gets spry, he puts a fatigue debuff on me. That would have only been two, and we would have been okay. But I didn't read that quite right, okay? So that's why he was unblockable for the entire fight. You know, you hit three one time, which I did. I had a bleed. I had a poison. He evaded. So then I had the fatigue from spry. So now I had three, and the only way to get that unblockable gone is to have zero debuffs, which of course I will never have because I was running suicides and Corvus doesn't have the ability to remove that poison. And they got something for you anyway, because even if you um, get rid of a debuff, um, I believe they get power or something like that. Now, you notice that I got wrecked with Corvus. Corvus is not a good option for Havoc. However, if my Corvus had been awakened, then I could survive the plasma detonations. And if I played very well and didn't get hit, then I could take down this Havoc. But I got caught by the special two. Sometimes it happens, sometimes I can evade it just fine. Um, but Corvus went down. Uh, now, you saw poor Black Widow, Clairvoyant, she does energy-based attacks, and that's not good when you're fighting against Havoc, okay? You're just going to get wrecked like you saw there. So she's not a good option uh, for fighting Havoc. Now, when I went in, I thought she would be a little bit better. I figured if I could get to the incinerate immunity phase, that maybe I would be able to do a little bit of damage with her, but didn't work out that way, all right? So... Finally, we brought in Nick Fury and we got Havoc down. Obviously, if I normally would take this path, I wouldn't bring in that team against him. But Boss was already down. That was the last fight I needed uh, to get over there and clear my guys. Because at this point in time, I'm trying to do John Mulaney's challenge. And I was hoping to bring in uh, Nick Fury. Uh, as well as uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. And if you haven't seen that, I did it live. Uh, she was my MVP for sure. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit and you'll find out how we did as well as how we ended this season. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, we went for a boss rush, so we were not going for the win. We are pretty firmly in Platinum 3. Even losing the last two wars would not change our status at all. Uh, even if we won the last two wars, it would not have changed our status. We would have just placed higher uh, ranking in Platinum 3. So leadership decided to just do boss rushes and save items. All right. So now let's see how we did. And we're going to go over here. And first, I want to show you guys uh, the Act 6 compensation. During my live stream yesterday, uh, people were saying, did you get it? Did you get it? I hadn't gotten it yet, but I got it now. So just take a look. All the items that I used during the John Mulaney's challenge are pretty much replenished. The 30%, I think I used two during the John Mulaney's challenge. So 
Um, I've got a net gain of four. Uh, and I don't remember how many of those uh, health potions I used, but uh, I don't believe it was 20 of them. Uh, but I could be wrong. And those energy refills are huge because that's going to help me get through the content so much easier. Uh, each, um, I think, uh, each one of those is like 30 units. And we've got 12 of them. That's huge. This is a very nice compensation. Um, and I'm probably going to end up using uh, these resources to uh, finally explore Act 6. All right, but let's go to the next one. And there we go. Uh, and these are Platinum 3 rewards. So we have another 6 star that we could open. And I'm going to wait because I can get a featured 6 star. And that pool looks a little bit better the next one that's coming. So I'm kind of waiting for that. Uh, if you saw my last six star openings, you know why I'm a little reluctant to open up another basic six star right now. All right. Um, we've got 20,000 five star shards. Uh, that's nice. I'll probably hold those for an opening. Maybe I'll try and start opening uh, Cosmics, uh, but we'll see. Uh, and then we've got these guys here, two percenters. And uh, I'm very close to getting a uh, Mystic. So if any of these are Mystic, then I have another Tier 5 Class Catalyst formed. All right. We've got a Basic here. We've got some uh, Tier 5 Basic Catalyst Fragments as well. And three of the uh, Tier 2 Alphas. All right. So those are actually really nice. Uh, I'm not going to claim them right now. I'll leave them for a little bit. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. That is our season. And as I told you at the beginning, uh, this will be my last season uh, with my alliance. And I will make a video talking about uh, why I'm leaving. All right. So take care. Look for that video. Uh, click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.